Hi there students. In this video I want to look at two phrases. One is lies, damned lies and statistics. And the other one is if you torture the data long enough it will confess to anything. So let's see, the, the, this second one about torturing the data, it says that statistics can be manipulated to support any conclusion if you, you want. Yeah, if you massage the data enough, then uh, it's going to say what you want it to say. Yeah, um, you can manipulate it just to uh, say absolutely anything. And then the other phrase, it, the full phrase, is there are two types of lies. Lies, damned lies, and statistics. And this again is uh, casting doubt on the validity of statistics. Statistics are a very good thing to uh, uh, support a very weak argument. Yeah, um, and you could use it to call into doubt the um, the uh, something that an opponent has said has said. Yeah, um, so if somebody's using statistics to say, well, the statistics show that it's got to be like this, you could use either of these two phrases. Yeah, if you torture the data long enough, it'll it will say anything you want. It will confess to anything. Yeah, or you could also just say lies, damn lies and statistics. OK, this phrase, if you torture the data long enough, it will confess to anything, was first used by a French economist, um, Ronald Coas, in the 60s. Um, and very clearly, yeah, it's saying you, you can manipulate or massage the data until it says what you want to. Want to. Um, this phrase about lies, damn lies and statistics, Mark Twain said that uh, um, it originated with Benjamin Disra Disraeli, but um, in fact he's almost certainly not right about that. Um, one early reference uh, to it is Lord Courtney uh, making a speech in 1895. After all, facts are facts, and although we may quote one to another with a chuckle of the words of the wise statesman, lies, damn lies, and statistics, there are still some easy figures the simplest must understand and the astutest cannot wriggle out of. Okay, so if, if, with statistics, if you play with the, the, the numbers, uh, you can make them say anything. But maybe s some of the very simple data, it says very clearly uh, uh, what a situation is and uh, you can't find your way out of it. Yeah, so use both of these phrases to cast doubt on the statistics that somebody is telling you prove their argument beyond doubt. Okay, um, formality for both of these. I would probably give these something like a 5.5 informality. You could use them in an informal conversation. I think you could use them anywhere. I think they're even suitable for a very formal um, writing as well. So they work quite they work quite nicely in all sorts of uh, situations. Okay, so if you want to uh, say that somebody's uh, irrefutable statistics may not actually be as uh, valid as they make them out to be. You could use either of these two phrases. So, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. If you torture the data long enough, it will confess to anything. There are two types of lies. Lies, damn lies, and statistics. Bye for now.